Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. I have some significant things going on in my life right now. I'm not trying to get your pity, um, but our car is broken down. We have a fairly new car. It's broken down three times where we've had to have it hauled into the shop three times in the last two weeks. That's a concern. Our dog, while we were on vacation, our dog's eye matted up and he can't see out of that eye. And I got to take him to the vet today to see what's going on with that. That's kind of a significant thing. And then at our church, at Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado, we've had significant technical issues going on during the worship. Does that happen to anybody else? (laughs) Satan hates technology, right? And so he'll do whatever he can to thwart it. So here's my question for you today. What significant events are you facing in your future? It may be large, it may be small, but they're significant to you. And so what are you facing that you need help with? Hmm. Remember, we're in Matthew chapter 14, and Jesus has just fed 15,000 people with a couple loaves of bread, a couple uh, fishes and five loaves of bread, and then he dismisses the crowd. We talked a little bit about that yesterday, and we pick up verse 23. This is what it says. After he had dismissed the crowds, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. Now, let's take that verse apart. First of all, he dismissed the crowds. Why did he do that? Well, the crowds were so amazed at what he had done, they wanted to make him king. And so Jesus said, oh no, it's not time for me to be king. It's time for me to resolutely set my eyes on the cross. So he dismissed the crowd. Then what's he do? He goes up on a mountain somewhere near the Sea of Galilee, goes up on a mountain. There's many of them there. They're really more like hills, not mountains. He goes up on a mountain. Now, why a mountain? You think about it, You know, maybe he could stand on top of a hill and look down to the valley and see the people being dismissed, leaving that place, and he could pray for them. But also, he went to a mountain, I believe, because the two most significant events that happened in the Bible happened on a mountain. One of them was the giving of the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, and the other one was the sacrifice for our sin on the cross of Calvary on Mount Calvary. So mountains always play a significant part in the Old and New Testament. So he goes up on a mountain. How did he go up on the mountain? He didn't take his disciples with him. He wanted to be totally undistracted, and he wanted to focus totally on the Father. And so he goes up on a mountain by himself. For what purpose? And this is the main point of our little devotion today. He goes up on the mountain by himself to pray. Hmm. Now, wait a minute. Why did Jesus? need to pray. Well, he had a close interconnection with the Father, and he not only was God, but also he was, you say it, man. And so as the God-man being interdependent upon the Father, he prayed to the Father for strength, listen to this, for strength, undoubtedly, and for guidance, undoubtedly. Strength and guidance. Hmm. What do I need with my car, with my dog, with our church? Hmm. I need God's strength and his guidance. What do you need right now in your life as you call upon the Father? You need his guidance and you need his strength. Pray to him. Pray to him consistently. Pray to him often. When things come into your life that are significant, and struggling, and challenging, and sometimes overwhelming, you know where to go. You know who to call upon. It's Almighty God. Call upon Him. Talk to Him often. Ask Him for strength and guidance, and He will give it. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.